The historic floods in Kenya have caused the loss of more than 220 lives and wrought so much destruction. It's also directly impacted our long-term partner on the ground there, the Molly Children's family. Joining us for an update is Molly Children's family's Director of Finance, Grace Molly. Thanks so much for joining us, Grace. Oh, thank you, Cheryl, for, for, for having me. Well, our hearts were broken when we heard about how Kenya had been affected, so much destruction throughout the country, but also your properties have been impacted. What's going on? Well, a lot has been happening in the last month. We started receiving some very heavy uh, rains and flooding uh, from mid-April. And they, the rains lasted for almost a month um, where we are in eastern Kenya, central Kenya. And the rains, um, what we received within a period of one month is more than uh, four times what usually you would receive on an annual basis. And so it means that the water levels in the rivers are extremely, extremely high, covering very high bridges, covering infrastructure, um, and then causing massive destruction of property, of infrastructure within the country and within Muli children's family, as well as loss of lives, um, flooding in the farms, and a lot of destruction really, making a lot of people um, lose their source of income because a lot of people's uh, properties were destroyed. Uh, small scale businesses, people who sell by the roadside, um, they could not do anything because there was so much flooding and a lot of property was destroyed. So there has been massive um, uh, destruction of infrastructure and loss of lives within the country. Now, I know one of the focuses for the Mully Children's family, something I really admire and that we really support is sustainability, growing your own crops, big, gigantic chicken farms, um, just doing everything you can to make sure that you have food security because you're caring for 7,800 kids, 70 schools that you're providing lunches for outside of your properties in your charity, and then the most vulnerable in the community. What has this done to your sustainability as an organization? Oh, you know, Cheryl, um, and you know, Crossroads has worked with us um, over the years in ensuring that we are sustainable in different ways. Uh, whether it's agriculture, um, poultry farming, uh, growing crops in the field, and you know um, machinery such as our tractors. And what has happened is that currently with the flooding, more than 75% of our farms are flooded, causing uh, destruction of all the crops that are there, meaning that we cannot export to Europe, we cannot be able to sell locally, um, we cannot feed our children. And when that happens, it means that our level of sustainability goes down. Then something else that has happened is that our poultry farm in Dalani got flooded. We lost close to 1,000 birds in those houses. When you lose birds, when you lose eggs, hundreds of trays you know, of eggs, then it means you cannot be able to sell those eggs. You cannot be able to earn an income um, from, the, from the chicken that we would have sold. And so, of course, then our sustainability levels go down. When we look at the farms, it's not, it's not just about the crops that have just been destroyed, but then soil erosion because of the flooding, massive flooding. So a lot of soil, topsoil has been washed away, um, meaning that we will need to put in quite a lot of effort in getting manure, for instance, to enrich the soils again, because most of the soil has been washed away um, to the ocean or to the rivers. And so when, when we talk about... Um, um, you know, sustainability, the issue of pump houses that we, we've lost almost uh, four pumps, um, generators that have been affected. You cannot be able to pump water, meaning that you, can be able to, you cannot be able to irrigate uh, the crops. You cannot be able to supply water um, to the poultry houses as we were doing previously. That has impacted our sustainability uh, levels. So Grace, 30 seconds left, but like you are the person who's calculated all this as the director of finance. How worried are you about your ability to care for all the vulnerable people in your care? We, we are worried. We have confidence um, in God's provision. Um, but then, of course, we are concerned that we are not able to, we do not have the capacity that we had a month ago to be able to provide for the children, our own children within the Muli children's family homes. Uh, but then also the community schools that we feed, 70 schools in the community, 28,000 children on a daily basis being able to access a free, a free hot meal. 
um, the free food that we give to the community women in terms of French beans, the excess that we produce from our farms, we are not in a position to be able to do that. And so it has affected us. We are counting our losses. It is quite a big damage. Um, I know it will take a lot to be able to get back to where we were before, but we have faith and we trust that we can be able to get there and be able to rebuild again. I know it's going to take time to get to where you were, but we want to stand with you. You've been our partner for decades. You do such good work and so many vulnerable people. Now even more people in the community who've had their crops destroyed are looking to you. And we want to stand with you and do whatever we can to help you survive and then begin the rebuilding process. And so we're inviting you. We've sent them the money that we had on hand, but we need your help to help further because that's going to go quick with all of those people who are hungry. Please give us a call right now and join us in standing with the Molly Children's family, 1-800-265-3100. You can also go online at crossroads.ca slash cares, just select Kenya, and we'll make sure the money gets there. Grace, thank you so much for joining us, and please know that you will continue to be in our hearts and in our prayers. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are so proud uh, to be able to partner with you and to call you our friends. We thank you for stepping in so quickly, for acting so quickly to be able to meet the most urgent needs that we had. And we have faith that that will continue. Thank you so much.